So first let me say I'm sorry for this video because the quality is kind of uh, shitty. Uh, my OBS bugged like four or five times during the recording. I had to uh, record uh, some part multiple times and after that uh, my version of Unity for Linux was bugged and I couldn't show Unity uh, with OBS. Uh, yeah, so it, it was kind of annoying and uh, it's a one hour video and I didn't feel like uh, restarting from scratch. Uh, I don't like to make the same stuff twice, right? So yeah, uh, I was tired. So I'm sorry if it's hard to follow. Uh, anyway, hope you enjoy. Uh, if you think it's too shitty to follow, please let me know. And you can still find the code on uh, GitHub. Uh, maybe uh, if enough people are asking, I will do a re-upload uh, and uh, redo this part, right? So, yeah. Uh, hope you still have fun while uh, following the tutorial. So I just uh, removed the whole texture from the resource directory and uh, added the one we did last time. Uh, in my super artistic video. I need to correct uh, this texture a little um, because uh, there is a line in the middle and some stuff like this. But uh, yeah, we'll do that later. Uh, but if we press play now in Unity, uh, we don't uh, have uh, the... We, just, we, we have uh, some weird stuff, right? We can't really see the texture. And uh, the idea is uh, we want... Um, 128 pixels per uh, unit, uh, so in each tile, right? But uh, our textures for the ground are um, uh, 512 by 512, right? So uh, what that means is uh, we want to divide. Uh, wait, well, we want a custom shader to do this because we don't generate the mesh UVs. Right, if you remember uh, what we did uh, in the tutorial um, last time. Uh, so, here, yeah, right, we generate the vertices and the triangle, not, not the UVs. So, we need a custom shader for this, and um, yeah, so let's do this. So, um, I will not explain the details here. For two reasons, uh, I don't seem uh, I'm good enough uh, at making shaders to explain everything. First reason, and the second one is I already explained this in my first tutorial on this channel, the one called um, on the blending of the tile and uh, stuff. So I will put the link in the description and. Uh, if you want to watch, we will... Uh, well, if you want me to explain something in details, uh, please uh, leave a comment. But uh, I'm uh, not going to waste time on explaining something I already explained. Uh, so let's call this... Uh, uh, oh. So we will have uh, only one property, right? Um, called main uh, text. Uh, to D, obviously. And then we'll make a sub shader. I think this is default to back, but. Uh, transparent here because uh, later we'll do the blending uh, between texture and uh, we'll need 
this. So let's make the pass. Um, Well, yeah, uh, that, that, that. Uh, uh, let's sample to d for the main texture. And uh, I could define a custom texture for what I could just uh, include uh, Unity. CG plus CG ink, right? Yeah, I think I'm going to try this. Uh, Unity CG plus CG ink. Uh, so let's make a uh, let's make let's make a struct, right? We just want addition, uh, UV, and color. And the color will not be used right now, but. Uh, Do we need a data? Can I see the definition of this? Fuck, I can't. Ah, I hope there is everything I need in the database, but uh, let me see. Uh, so let's uh, let's use it. Uh, And uh, no, so we'll we'll see. Uh, I I sent the UV to the vertex position, and that's really cool. We will see why later. But um, yeah, and they, uh, then Well, we can just return this, right? And uh, this should work, I guess. Maybe, maybe not. Oops, sorry for that. Uh...
Well, let's set up the color too. Right. Uh, we don't use this right now, but we will. Ah, uh, this is not working. So we still have. Uh, issue uh, let me what does unity say the definition of v2f times 33 what fuck my life Still have an error. So I guess we need to use a uh, data full. Yeah. So now we have a shader. Let's add uh, this to our pileable material. Well, like, let's make a new material, right? So let's duplicate this, call this grounds. Call this uh, user shader background, right? Then uh, let's go in uh, Sublime Text. Uh, that's not Sublime Text. <laughs> uh, what do we want to do? Uh, we want to go in Devs and set um, material name to backgrounds. Right, and uh, this should work, I guess. Not sure we are using the, the material right. Test something simple. Let's uh, auto on Okay, so this is our king, right? We are using our shader. Um, let's uh, check our texture quickly. So let's uh, make them to 512 with uh, high quality. Yeah, I miss everything in Unity. Yeah. So I just uh, changed the import setting of the textures to this. let you uh, copy it in your project if you want to so what we want you want uh, we don't want a texture of dot to be in uh, each tile right we want multiple tile to have the dot texture uh, and to do this uh, uh, we can uh, uh, for now we will divide by four right uh, because uh, it's uh, 512 by 512 and we want uh, 128 pixels by uh, unit here. And uh, that's uh, kind of what we want. Maybe we want bigger textures. Um, okay. So yeah, that's what we want, right? But uh, maybe we want bigger textures. Well, it's kind of nice now. Uh, we 
we don't have anything on the terminal right now, so yeah. I don't like this color of dirt, but we change this. Um, let's add some uh, water just to check if it's working. Um, so in my uh, map, I have a temporary function called uh, everything is word. So let's call uh, so let's run a new tempo temp uh, temp memgen. Um, right. So, um, Just make a quick test like this. What the fuck? And um, uh, let's call this in our game manager. multiple textures and I'm stupid so it's not working entirely but because I need to minus one I had too many window open I'm sorry so I just need to set minus one uh, Yeah, it's working. Nice. And uh, so now in this region, we have two mesh, one for the water, one for the dirt, right? But uh, it's working quite nicely. That's exactly what we want, right? So now what we want is uh, we want to do no, our tail table, for example, the grass, uh, right? We want to add the grass to the map. And like I explained before, we are not going to use the region renderer for this. We are going to create a new renderer called a terrible render or something like that. Uh, but first, uh, maybe you notice I draw the uh, grass uh, on the gray scale, right? And uh, that's because we want to be able to color the grass with our shader. Uh, so. What that means is we need to uh, edit graphic instance to have uh, some parameters here. Uh, we want to be able to um, override the color, uh, the texture, and I think that's it. Let me think. Um, Yeah, maybe the draw priority too, but uh, we don't have a draw priority step for now. But we need to think about this. Uh -huh. Oh, and uh, we also want the mesh here. Uh, so let's make... Uh... And you will see why uh, just after this. So uh, here, let's do um, something like uh, let's do something like this. Uh, so if texture is equal to nil, well, let's do this. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's call this in texture hash equals texture equals equal now. So if it's texture is null, we use um, dev.texture name.getHashCode. 
else we we'll use uh, texture.catashcut, right? And uh, let's do the same for the color. Just set the texture ash and color ash, right? Uh, so we also need to add this here. I don't think I can, that, that's not going to work, right? Th this is fine, I can do this, but I can say something like this, right? Yeah, uh, so uh, maybe I can... Uh, I can do something like this, okay. Um, so we pass this, now we have this, and uh, we need uh, also to pass the color here, right? Um, right, and uh, what we'll do here is And uh, if uh, color, yeah, uh, let's make a private void set color. Right? Uh, maybe this will change later actually, but for now it's going to be fine. Uh, Bad. Uh, so now we can override the color and the texture. And uh, if the color is set, uh, we just pass it to the material and the texture, right? So uh, now I think we need to uh, be able to get, uh, and we added the mesh too. Uh, yeah, so maybe we need to add the mesh, right? Maybe. And uh, well, for now let's yeah we'll do this later. For now, let's say all our, our tailable are plain mesh. So yeah, yeah okay. Uh, maybe uh, it's uh, kind of uh, weird for you right now, but um, uh, I'm gonna start the mesh pool class, and uh, we, uh, you will understand why. So let's call this mesh pool in the visual folder and uh, name spyfy.visuals right? uh, and uh, this will be a static class called uh, mesh pool and basically we want to ask for uh, we want a dictionary of uh, planes basically uh, where the identifier is uh, Representative of the size of the plane. So something like this. Uh, 
uh, int mesh data, right? And uh, so we want a function to get a plane, obviously. So and uh, let's pass a vector to size. Right? We have to plane uh, with a special size. And let's say uh, lady is. Uh, Well, do we want, uh, yeah, we want meshes uh, not on the integers, so. We could do something like this. Uh, right. But there is a chance, uh, if we use an int, there is a chance, I think, uh, two of them uh, have the same ID. So let's use a float. Yeah. Uh, so if uh, mesh pool uh, dot, uh, oh yeah, it's better if uh, if mesh push the plane dot contain keys uh, ID, right? Just want to mesh pool. Planes uh, ID dot mesh uh, else let's uh, add a new one. Um, so here we will need to gen right. Um, and uh, And let's make a gen function. Uh, and this will auto on the mesh data, I guess. Right. And for now, let's auto on uh, the mesh data. Uh, so this is mesh pool gen mesh. Okay. Um, so now I guess we just need to gen the mesh, right? Uh, so let's uh, do uh, mesh data mesh data equals new mesh data. Uh, of the size one, we have uh, that's a count of plane, right? And uh, mesh uh, flags dot base uh, and mesh flags dot uv because we need the uv, yeah, right? Because uh, it's not a terrain mesh. Um, I'm missing something somewhere. Yeah, right. So. Let's add the vertices. Right, so uh, zero size dot uh, y. Uh, no, zero zero. Right, zero zero. Yeah, and zero size dot y. Size dot x size dot y size dot x zero right uh, let's add the uv and maybe we we'll want uh, some stuff like uh, flip or but for now let's just do uh, something like this And let's add the triangles. Uh, oh, so 
vertex index will be zero, obviously, right? Uh, the mesh and this way uh, now when we do get mesh uh, get plane mesh uh, if we don't have the mesh of this side for example one by one right we construct one and uh, we save it in the dictionary and we if we are uh, already have one we just get the mesh right so that's cool uh, now we just need to make the render for this so let's do that. So uh, now what we need to do, like I said, I want to use uh, graphics.rawmesh and sunset for the tilables. Um, that means we need to have a matrix for the tilable. Uh, so let's uh, set this. So let's. Uh, hmm. uh, how do we do that? Uh, let's make a function called. Uh, get matrix. Um, and what we'll do is this dot matrix. Uh, this should work, right? Uh, We need to do this uh, so uh, so this is the location, the rotation and the scale, right? So the position is uh, what, uh, that will be a uh, uh, we'll never rotate and we'll use vector 3.1 for the scale. Uh, but for the position, let's think about this. Uh, well, uh, we have a position for a tailable, so. Now I was thinking maybe we just uh, want to add a spawn function and do this in the spawn, but maybe we want tailable we don't spawn on the map. But uh, we'll see if we need that later, right? So so now we have a get matrix function. That's not going to work. Um, uh, so now we need to. Uh, we need to make the the, the renderer for this. Um, Oh, that's annoying because uh, I have an idea to make this, but I'm not sure what I want to do exactly, so I need to think about this. Uh, so let's take a break and I will come back. So, so I have an idea, but there is a mini problem with this. Um, but I guess we'll do uh, what uh, I have in mind right now and... Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, so let's make a private uh, dictionary of uh, int matrix uh, arrays. Call this uh, matrices. And uh, yeah. Uh, well, we can instantiate that. Yeah. 
uh, and uh, well, no, okay. Um, but I will explain the, the, the annoying things with this system. Um, and let's do uh, let's do a function called uh, something to rebuild our matrices. Make a temporary dictionary with hash uh, set or list. Uh, well, I think a list is better actually because uh, we don't have many uh, values. Well, uh, max is 1024, I think. So, uh, yeah. uh, and that's for each. Uh, Uh, also, we need to edit quickly our definition and uh, add the uh, something like this. actually and uh, in our dev for the ground let's uh something faster if we in tag basically what I mean is in tag right now we have everything in this dictionary but maybe it would be better to have two dictionary or to do this in a completely different way uh, Function to get all the tailable in this uh, tile, right? So now we can do uh, can do something like this, and uh, if t the graphics the Right. 
So now we need to check uh, if uh, matrix the uh, Kempinski uh, right. and this is in the case at this. The list and uh, uh, call this UID, right? Maybe we want not available to be able to have child, but uh... so that's not something that we forget. But this should work, right? And then, uh... then we are going to do this, but. Does this return an array? I don't know. Yeah, quite right. I just do this. Yeah, but not because it's dangerous, right? So, yeah. Maybe you use some part to iterate with a. Uh, basically, I'm basing this on the thing that copy two is faster. But maybe it's not. I could just do this also. Yeah, that's stupid, sorry. I could just do it. Yeah, I could just do this, right? Yeah, I'm stupid, sorry. So now we have our list of matrices. Maybe you want uh, some flags in build matrices, like uh, which layer are we, we are building? Well, which uh, graphic ID are we, we are building? Because technically, if we add some stuff, we don't need to rebuild everything, right? 
So we'll see that later, but um, so that should work. Uh, it just we can just draw now. We just do for each. So we don't have the mesh yet. Uh, well, yes, we do actually. But uh, this will be zero, right? And this will be uh, take instance, put instance, uh, that key material. This will be the value and the mesh we can just do uh, actually this is we can just do for now we can just do mesh pool dot get Line mesh, graphic and stance, dot, uh, graphic and stance, dot and stance, dot kv, dot key, dot, uh, huh, I don't have the size here. Oh, yeah, I do. No, I don't. Yes, yeah, I do. So, well, we just need to test this now. And we don't even have a shader for this. <laughs> um, oh yeah, we also need a, a private flag, like... A, If uh, thing like this, um, so now we need to make a shader for this. Uh, so let's copy the shader I made last uh, at the start. Let's call this uh, tailables. Uh, except we're going to have uh, some modification. Uh, this is uh, associated for. Right, uh, let's add uh, the pragma. Uh, Compile and stencil. So yeah, for the shader, um, I'm bad at this, so uh, I'm not going to make a tutorial, but you can look the internet. So let's continue. I just uh, did the multi compile and stencing. Uh, so now what do we need? Uh, yeah, yeah, we also need the color here, right? Because uh, Last time I explained I wanted to color this, so let's color and let's say it's white by default, right? And let's say uh, let's use a flow four. Is it color? Uh, so here we need.
So we need to add a primity vertex and put instance ID, I guess. Yeah. Um, and here we need a unity setter instance ID, I guess, for V and unity transfer right uh, transfer input no my drug completion is broken transfer sensor id right the v from all as uh, it's correct we don't care about this uh, I'm copying the node shader because I already don't really know this part. a lot of mistakes but in uh, asset resource shaders let's call this five tiler dose right pretty sure I made a lot of mistakes well, let's check in unity oh. I'm missing this now we have no error on the shaders, but we still can test this. So what we need to do to test this is uh, we should add uh, something like uh, a plant or something. So let's copy the ground class, replace, replace this with plant. plant. Let's save this in entity, plant.cs. Uh, for now, let's. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, let's just. Uh, but, uh, yeah, you, you can set a color, right? Okay. Let's set color the green for now. Because maybe we want uh, multiple colors for the plants. And uh, we need the definition also, so let's go in devs. Let's uh, let's uh, yeah. I'm trying to give some consistency, consistency, but. This is a little redundant, but it's because we set all of order from the code for now. Uh, yeah. yeah, I couldn't do a uh, add. Uh, and uh, depending on uh, yeah. now this, uh, this will be okay. Oh, 
and we don't have uh, so let's make a new one like this because uh, what we want to do is have special properties for plant after that so because after this episode we are going to start the procedural generation and uh, make the plant uh, reproduce and grow so uh, Let's do a new plan def, right? Uh, ID égale grass, uh, layer égale layer de grass, bien sûr, uh, We need to set this up, graphics égale new graphics def, uh, texture name égale grass, uh, material name, it's tileable, right? So, we don't need to set this because the default is a right. A layer, then uh, yeah. So let's have the grass layer. Yep. Uh, and let's uh, just check the default is uh, tileable, right? So now we just need to add some plants. So let's do uh, random stuff for now. Let's go in our map, in our temp, uh, yeah. And let's uh, do. Uh, if uh, random value superior à dot add the tileable new plant tile position yes the plants yes uh, should work I guess I have no ideas it's going to be so fun That's just sorry. I was there. Uh, let's check if this is called in uh, map region. Oh, I have now. Okay. Sorry. So now it's working. You can see it again. I'm sorry about this. So we have a mistake here uh, in map. Okay. Uh, so. Yes, that plants but that was, oh yeah I know why um because we don't load the definitions of the plant right we should make something generic for this but so let's go back in Okay, was not present in the dictionary. Graphic instance, Lintron instance. We have the grass texture now. Oh, yeah, I call this grass form. So let's rename this to grass. Okay. Uh, I don't set much press rate. So. Oh, yeah. 
this one is okay. We need just we just need to have the add the instancing to our material. That's not even the good shader, right? Let's see which shader we just made. Net GPU instancing. So oh, we don't have an error, but we also don't have a splash of points. Uh, maybe they are the row behind the ground, right? It's hard to say, but uh, let's hide the ground. Uh, so let's dissolve this one. Go back to it. So, uh, So we have a mesh here, right? So that's cool. And we should have at least one mesh in each region. We don't. So, so, so I must have made a mistake somewhere. Yeah, that's What? Uh, I did make a mistake. Yeah, this should be a private actually. It's not important, but. So I don't understand what the matrix is always the same, right? And now it's working. That, that makes no sense. Yeah, now it's working. It's crazy, right? Uh, I have no idea why. I think because I have a getter and a setter, maybe it's not set to default when it's not private. I don't know so sharp enough for this kind of shit. I'm not sure actually. If someone knows why it's working, please tell me. So now it's working, but uh, the plants are not green, right? So I have no idea why. Uh, There is two possible regions. Uh, the first one is we don't set the color here. So let's check that. Oh, the shader is bugged. Okay, we don't put set color, so that's my bad. Uh, sure, this is because of this, but I just do this just to check something. So now that color is cold, but it's cold with clear. So that was correct to not execute. So maybe I. Where do I'm sorry. 
So in the next episode we are going to kill the god for this or um, it was confusing maybe at some point. Uh, um, yeah, I'm kind of tired and uh, I was interrupted like four times during this video. So yeah, sorry about it. Uh, hope you enjoy anyway and uh, see you later. Um,